I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone. Oh, first off, to everyone that saw my the video that's called SA protest. Yes, I was a girl. Yes, I went through that. <laughs> yes, I was a part of it. I made so many parts that were backing it up, and I never posted them. Matter of fact, I deleted them. And without going through my like YouTube or videos, it came to mind. Well, I just need to say two things. One, hold on, and it's too hot. And tomorrow I'm gonna have to get used to it because uh, I have to be I have a fine art rehearsal after school is still up. I also have to find my choir outfit. Matter of fact, nope, that's not my t-shirt. Yeah, I have to find my choir outfit. Mm, and wear it to school tomorrow. Mm. Even though we have a five hour rehearsal. The day later the day after too whatever. I give up and life. First off. I feel bad for anyone that has to go through that. <laughs> like, when I was in my ceramics room today, there's this one teacher that I'm definitely afraid of. And uh, she's not even my teacher, let alone she's not even a ceramics teacher. But, um, like, I was, like, in the classroom while she was in the ceramics room in my area. And, like, this teacher came in and screamed at me that I wasn't allowed to be there and alone. While Miss Franz was two feet away. <laughs> and then I'm sitting here like, excuse me? My whole entire class is in their sixth period alone because Mr. Wright is never there. No one knows where he is. He just disappears. And I find out the truth. Well, like, I find out the reasoning. Well, I already know the reason why, like, teachers aren't supposed to be their students there. From a situation that happened years ago. But I'm like. I found out the reason. Why that teacher is so. Like the other teacher or whatever. Was so on top of people. Because like a week or two ago. They found. Dude I would. Mm, mm, no. When I got told the story. I was just like. Mm, okay. I understand. The fact is, I started throwing up in my stomach, pretty much. <laughs> like, it didn't just make me think of that. It made me think of my last relationship. And it was like, the fact that made me sick was that the whole sexual assault protest and all of that, I'm highly pretty sure the person that was my last relationship is in that video. Why? Because the microphones were hers. The microphones that they were using were hers. And she was the one that tried pushing the idea on me multiple fucking times when I kept saying no. And I even said I wasn't ready and she br straight up brought up a question. When will you be ready then? I was like, I'm sorry, but that is a personal fucking you won't know until you're ready, ready. <laughs> For me, that'll be a long time. But then again, she was claiming she was 18. <laughs> no. I'm also gonna say this. This is like the same thing in a, on your wedding day. For your wedding day, if your partner doesn't cry at your wedding, get out of there. Now. That's like, that's been a lie. This, I've thought of pretty much myself. When a relationship ends and you don't cry, there was nothing there. But, um, if you cry during re the relationship, it's fucking toxic and you need to get out of there. Guess which one was me? Mm. Yeah, like, so many other people was like, you need to get out, like... And then I get dumped for uh, another girl. And then after that girl breaks her heart, <laughs> she goes back to me and I'm like, why did, like, why did you decide to treat me as plan B? She's like, 
Well, I think it was just by the fact of how I felt after the other girl broke up with me. And I was like, the fact is I also have all of this on text. <laughs> so I want you to know, you are not alone. <laughs> God, I feel so bad. We love you. I love you. <laughs> Dude, I'm not laughing, but just but I'm like dying inside. You're not alone. We're here for you. There's people out there to support you. I support you. <sighs> Heaven forbid. Dude, I swear to God, I like I am traumatized at this point. Okay, so. <clears throat> What started everything of me being just, I couldn't do it, traumatic situation, was in the situation with me losing my best friend. Now, that started shit. Don't put me in a situation like that. Awesome. I don't know. There's a video on my channel of how I lost my best friend, but like not even things were said in that because at that time of that video, I physically hmm, couldn't say the like the actual thing that happened. Still can't. But um, it was enough to traumatize me make me where I cannot do that specific thing and it was like it's sickening to think about but every single time the situation in that category gets bring up brung up I just think of that time where I was pretty much locked and couldn't go home <laughs> because my mother drove all the way to West Sacramento where she ran into McDonald's thing even though I was left in Davis the girl but uh And then, I don't even, no, I, I, the fact she said, I was like, why, why, why do you even want me back? And so many things were said. And one of them was, and also I think you're a good kisser, sorry. The fact is, my mouth, correction, my face was like this. The whole entire time. It's like, dude, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> like. Dude, I feel so uncomfortable when I'm on, like, when I'm hanging out with another person. And I cannot simply use the restroom or walk away anymore. <laughs> Like, bruh. Oh, and also. Like, so many of my pieces are already in. Because I have a week left to school. And finals are Monday. But, like, here's a single piece. <laughs> I bring home pieces. Here's a piece. Um, here, here, here's another piece. It's, like, kind of dead. <laughs> and then there's more pieces. Downstairs. Yeah. And then these two, like, kind of got everywhere. There's this. And then it's like this. Yeah. Sure, you meant to like prepare yourself before things happen. So, um, I'm now gonna go. I have to find my choir outfit. Do more things. Do other things. Take care of myself. And goodbye. It's currently Friday. I can tell it's been a good thing. It's past 12 p.m. 12 a.m. Okay. Okay.
Damn. That's Friday. Goodbye. <laughs>